All right, so now we're on to question 18. If you haven't already, go ahead and set up your calculator for two variable statistics as we'll be doing this through calculator base. Although you can also do it through formula base. In this case, we're just going to focus on the calculator approach. So here are all of the formulas we can use. And if you notice, the top part is all of the algebraic focuses. And the bottom part is what you can get from the calculator. Now here, the equation line of regression is y equals the slope times x plus the y-intercept. In some classes, the slope will be listed as a. In other classes, the slope will be listed as m. And in other classes, the slope will be listed as b. But the main thing that you want to look at is that the slope is this formula, and the y-intercept is this formula. Now, in the calculator, you'll be able to very quickly see this when you hit stat. Because when you hit stat, you see where it says a plus bx. In this case, b is considered the slope because it is attached to the x, and the a is alone indicating that it is, in fact, the intercept. So we're going to go ahead and start by putting in some of our data. A student wanted to study the relationship between the number of hours he studies for a statistics exam and his exam marks. The table below shows the data he collected. Now, which one would be x, our independent variable, and which one would be y? In this case, the time that he spent studying would be our independent variable, and what he earned would be dependent on the amount of hours that he studied. So we're going to go ahead and put this into our calculator. x is 4, 1, 2, and 5. We go back up to the top. y is 85, 47, 70, and 90. We go back to our main screen before doing any of our datas. We need to calculate the correlation coefficient r. Now the calculator steps for finding r, shift, and then we have to go just above the 1 where it says stat. And you see where it says regression here, reg. And we can choose number 3, which is r. And it says, is this the one that you want? Yes. So I hit equals. And I get that r equals 0 0.9552. Now, in this case, it says round it to two decimal points. So you cannot leave it just like this. Instead, your answer will be 0 0.96. And this is how you solve question 18 using a calculator.